Hi there. I've been asked to demonstrate how the font manager behaves in KNK Studio and how to install or update your font database. So I've decided to make a quick video. You can tell I've already got um, all of my fonts from my system folder are all lurking in here and we're going to remove them. I'm going to pause the video and then show you how to reinstall them. And the reason I'll pause is because you have to actually close and reopen the software between, between these steps. So we're going to start with File, Install, Fonts, and right here you're going to click Reset, Reset the Font Database. It'll remove everything but um, the VEF fonts, which I don't have any installed to be quite honest. I, it's going to leave me with one font by default so it doesn't clean you totally out. So we're going to click Yes. It's going to take a minute to remove these. pretty quickly. Okay, and click close. Okay, now you're going to see it doesn't look like it's done anything. I'll show you. All my fonts are still here, and the reason it looks like this is because I haven't restarted. You have to actually restart the software. So I'm going to pause this for a minute, restart it. Okay, we're back. And now that I've restarted the software, you're going to want to reinstall your font database get it updated. So you click File, Install, Fonts again. And this time I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm not going to install any of the Corel or Catlink fonts either. I, I just prefer my own. So again I'm going to just look for true type and open type fonts. And by check marking this it's going to look just in the si Windows System Fonts folder. If you have fonts saved somewhere else in a different folder on your hard drive, it's not going to find them there. It's only going to look in the Windows Fonts folder. So I'm going to click check mark that and click search now. It's going to find all of the fonts on my hard drive in that system folder. And technically I, I probably have more fonts in there than I should have. I've got a little over 800 in there I think. And I, I think the average is supposed to be between about five and six hundred. And the more fonts you have, the longer it will take certain programs to to start up. They have to pre-register all their fonts, like Adobe software. But yeah, let's see. Yeah, eight hundred and twenty fonts. That's quite a bit. Anyway, maybe I'll go through these one of these days and pull out a few, but for now I'm going to install all. Now if I wanted to install just one, suppose you had gone down and um, online and found a font that you really liked at defont.com, downloaded it, extracted it, and dropped it in the Windows System font folder, and you wanted to add that particular font, just the one font to your um, program, you could actually do that if you know the name of it. You'd go look, search for all of the fonts installed, go find it in this list, click on it, and just choose install. Like highlight, you'd highlight it, and then choose install, and it would install just that one font. I'm actually going to reinstall my entire font folder here, so I'm just going to choose install all. And it's really quick. We're done. Okay. And now, when we go to our fonts menu here, <coughs> and you'll be able to see we have the entire menu and the drop down list right there. Okay. Hope this helps.